about Chap and Silage today. It's the second weekend in September. And yeah, then I'll show you what we're doing. You might recognize this tractor from where we were raking. We don't have a lot of equipment around here, so one tractor gets used for everything. Dad just unhooked from the silage wagon, so I'm coming up here to meet him. And he's driving the cutter. Nothing around here of ours is very fancy. It's just an old John Deere 5400 cutter. So I'll pull up. He's on the phone, as usual. I'm going to pull up and unhook my wagon. simple you pull up pop your back window open untangle your cord pull your pin and drive away Add some lunch too. Hurry up, get over here and hook them up. Just me, my mom, and my dad today. Chopping silage. Oh, we bag all of our silage. Um, that cardboard on there is to keep the cable from cutting through the bag. We had that happen one year and it was a disaster. Bag split the whole way down. But I just pull up real slow here. You gotta be so close that you were scared almost. And then you watch back here, put your tractor in there, and there's our other tractor on the bagger. Um, the bagger is run by a PTO, 
and as it, it's got a spring on there and as it gets fuller and fuller it uh pushes the tractor forward hey we're supposed to run this one in neutral before we get it going into high gear when we start it Bring me a sandwich. See how I'm loved. But anyway, this is what we're doing today. Mom does the tractor and the bagger. I do the running around, getting in and out of the tractors, running the wagon, and Dad does all the cutting. Um, our bag, we did um, grass silage earlier, and that's we use that as a calf starter and as a filler for the cows. It's a lot cheaper than making corn silage. Uh, most of our corn silage will go to feed our registered bulls. Uh, you know, a little bit on the grower side of the heifer calves. But for the most part, the cows see grass and corn stalks and whatever anyone else doesn't want to eat. But this is how it works. You just sit here and wait for the wagon to unload. <laughs> That's my mom. Never a dull moment. We've been bagging our silage for, I think, the better part of nine years now. Uh, and the reason we bag our silage is because um, it's more of a space issue for us. We don't have anywhere to put a pile or a bunker. So um, we bag it. It keeps the bags are great. They keep it keeps silage in there really, really good. I mean, you get to the end of the bag and the silage is as good as it when you open it to cut out of it for the first time. We've been really lucky to go with it. The only problem you'll have with a silage bag is you gotta watch yourself and not get too close to the bottom because you tear that bottom up, then you're gonna be fighting it with a shovel for a while. And I've been there, and you don't want to do that. process but I enjoy getting to come home and uh, help out around the farm I started a new job about a month ago now and I work at an elevator now so I don't get to do all this like I was before when I was working at the feed lot but the guy that I work for he's pretty good about letting me come home when we wean calves or when we're working cows or when we're doing silage like this, it's just nice to get out. 